Hi fans and welcome to this week five edition of the Woodland Hills Football Network pregame show. Last Friday the Wolverines traveled to Penn Trafford and lost to the Warriors in a non-conference matchup. This week the Wolverines return to conference play as they host Char Valley at the Wolverina. We'll sit down with Woodland Hills head coach George Novak to review last week's loss at PT, preview this week's game against CV, and we'll also let you see highlights of last Friday's game. All of that and more on the pregame show here on the Woodland Hills Football Network. off coming to see Holt running from right to left he's going to reverse his field retreating he has a wall on that far side though as Holt is into open field he'll cross the 50 yard line close to the first down marker hand off running to the left Jawan Hill cutting it back he's into open field inside of the 30 wide open to the 20 to the 15 to the 10 ankle tackle around the five they'll say he's down at the one yard line Double tight end set, handoff. Holt running right into the end zone for a one yard touchdown on the Wolverine strike first. Now LaFoon looking back to the bunch formation to the near side right. The pass is complete to Christian Jantz and he will be brought down across the 40. It's a fake punt. Running over the right side is Brendan Kelly and Kelly is brought down inside of Woodland Hills territory. Two receivers right. As LaFoon will run off a of play action, rolling to his right, throwing down the right side of the football field, and the pass is incomplete. It's no, it's tipped and then caught. Oh my goodness, how did Anthony Servone come down with that one? Tailback move, no whistle blows. LaFoon runs right, and he will cross the goal line for a Penn Trafford touchdown. LaFoon running to his right, steps up into the pocket, throws to the near boundary, the pass is complete. Close to the first down, Markers, the ball springs loose, the Wolverines pick it up, Derek Carraway picks up the fumble by Anthony Servone. Carraway running from left to right across the field, trying to dance around a couple of Warriors, but he will be strung out of bounds. Whitehurst off the of play action, sets his feet, throws it down the middle, looking for Zeed Holt, but it's picked off by Penn Trafford. It's Cameron Suman with the interception for Penn Trafford, and he will be brought down inside of Woodland Hills territory. LaFoon, he's pressured, he's wrapped, but he eludes the pressure. He dumps it off, it's a first down for Penn Trafford as Brett Carney is running to his left-hand side and he'll be dumped down. Pistol formation, LaFoon looking right the whole way, throwing right and he finds a receiver who somehow was able to dart out of coverage. Empty set, LaFoon setting up the screen, throwing right, wide open, Servone, he's on his feet still inside of the 10. Actually, Adam, I think it was oh. a fumble. All four receivers to the left of the formation as the handoff will go to Santamaro. And Santamaro drives his way forward. He's still on his feet. He's got the first down for Penn Trafford. Still dragging the pile as he will be brought down inside of the 40 at the 38. As LaFoon hit as he releases the football again. It's a jump ball. And oh my goodness, what a great job adjusting to the football and catching it for a touchdown. Cameron Suman. Empty set. LaFoon. He's wrapped, he's sacked. The Wolverines make the play in the backfield. Whitehurst in the shotgun, he'll hand off, so he'd hold back of the lineup and he will burst up the middle for Woodland Hills and he'll pick up about nine yards. He's gonna drop back to pass. Looking across the middle, complete to Derek Carraway and he will be brought down inside of the 25 at the 24 yard line. Hand off, Holt trying to bounce it left. He'll drive his way forward, still on his feet inside of the 20. Turns the corner, he's got the first down, down towards the 10 yard line. What tenacity by Seed Holt. Hand off, dancing, running right now. Driving his way inside of the 10 as the ball comes loose and the Warriors were able to strip it away from Seed Holt. As LaFoon rolls right, throw back screen to the near side left and open is Christian Jantz. And Jantz will spin his way forward out to the 25 yard line. Straight drop back, quarterback looking to the right. And LaFoon finds Anthony Servone and Servone breaks free. He's down the near sideline across the 50 inside of Wolverines territory. 
LaFoon. Straight drop back, now he'll step forward. He'll look to the left, he'll throw to the left. That pass is complete down the near sideline. So LaFoon in the shotgun, twins to either side. He has all day to throw, he'll look to the left, and the pass is intercepted by Seed Holt. LaFoon in an empty set. Steps forward, releases the football. It's caught by Cameron Suman, and he's got the first down. LaFoon's going to hand off. Santamaro, the ball carrier. He'll drive his way forward into the end zone for a Penn Trapper touchdown. One to the right. Throw to that receiver on the right-hand side. It's scooped off off the shoe tops by Abramovitz. He's got the first down for the Wolverines. Whitehurst off of play action. No. Straight drop back now. He'll step forward. Running to the left. Sets his feet and throws, and the pass is complete across the middle. It's a Woodland Hills first down. Whitehurst again, straight drop back. Throwing to his right, the pass is complete. Deontay Robertson on the catch for Woody High. Whitehurst, straight drop back. Looking left, throwing left, and it's going to be intercepted. It's picked off by Penn Trafford along the near boundary. Coming down with the football is Nick Koval. We are the Woodland Hills Wolverines. Since 1987, we've been a part of some of the most electrifying football games in Western Pennsylvania, and we've established a national reputation of excellence. Whether you're a former player, a Woody High alum, a parent, or a fan, you're part of our Wolverine family. And now you can join us by becoming a part of our new booster club, the Wolverine Nation. Visit whfba.org and see how your donation can help our student athletes while earning you unique benefits. We're more than just a booster club. We are the Wolverine Nation. Hi again, fans, and welcome back to this Week 5 edition of the Woodland Hills Football Network pregame show. Adam Guskey here sitting down with Woodland Hills head coach George Novak. And Coach Novak, before we talk about this week's conference game against Char Valley, let's take a look back to last Friday's loss at Penn Trafford. Did a few things good early in the game, but the Warriors took over, and it seemed to be their ball game from the second quarter on. Yes, Adam, they have a very good program. Uh, give a lot of co credit to uh, Coach Ruwain and his staff. Uh, they had his team well prepared. You know, uh, they took advantage of some things we have as our strength. Uh, you know, on defense, they took advantage of our speed and aggressiveness. And, uh, you know, we're just, couple, we missed a couple tackles. They made some great plays, uh, some great play calls, uh, hit us with some screens and some throwbacks and, uh, you know, some uh, unbalanced looks. And uh, we're able to grind it out and, you know, at times we did some good things uh, defensively and offensively, but not enough. And, uh, you know, as you look at the game, uh, you know, we we're fortunate we made it, We got two really good running backs and they made some great plays to, to get us that first touchdown. The line did a nice job, but, uh, you know, they came down to play. And, uh, you know, this is about the fourth time this year. We were up 7 nothing, and uh, Derek Carraway had him covered. He went to pick the ball off and it went up in the air and it bounced off of him and it bounced up in the air and landed in their guys, uh, number seven, in his belly. He caught, caught it on the two yard line, which set up their score and uh, you know Saeed Holt blocked the extra point did some nice things there we couldn't establish much more after that the first half you know we were playing field position and in the hole and you know they made a couple of nice plays uh, coming out the second half uh, I think kids were inspired they made a couple uh, we made a nice drive Derek Carraway made a nice catch Saeed made a couple of nice runs we got down to the uh, inside the 10 and you know say he was just trying to go hard and the ball came up and they got the fumble uh you know they drove it had we been able to score there mid 1914 been you know closer game a little bit more momentum going our way they drove down and our defense hung tough and you know saeed intercepted one end zone but we could not establish much after that and uh you know we were we were playing from behind and it was i give them a lot of credit they have a very good team and uh you know they're gonna be a tough Tough team to beat for anybody. Coach mentioned Saeed Holt a couple of times. He obviously had yet another big game, but it seemed to be bitten by the injury bug several times in that game. How's he looking? Yeah, he'll he'll play this week. You know, he was banged up a little bit, and uh, you know, the doctor and our athletic trainer thought it'd be best if he didn't go back in the game since it was a non-conference game, and 
you know, Coach Damico's the man, whatever he says we do. So uh, he didn't play the rest of the game. Uh, it was about midway through the third quarter, I think. But, uh, you know, it was fine. The other kids stepped up. Uh, you know, they played hard. I give them credit. Our kids, they never gave up. They played hard. Uh, we were beat by a better team that night, and you know. Uh, they'll be one of the top contenders for the, to the uh, championship this year. And, you know, we saw the good part of it, when you go through a game like that, you see where the weaknesses are offensively and defensively, and it kind of gives you a chance to evaluate yourself a little better when you play somebody of that caliber, a quarterback that can do what their quarterback could do. A lot of empty sets, a lot of things that we've seen before, prepared for, but until you go through it with a good team, you don't know what they could do. But uh, So there were a lot of bright spots. A lot of kids made some really good plays, some big plays. But, uh, you know, the special teams, I thought, uh, played well. You know, the kickoff team had its best day. We only kicked off twice, but, you know, got them both inside the 20. So, you know, Chucky did a good job. Uh, Mike McAllister and Mike Whitehurst did a nice job with the punts, you know. Uh, so a lot of positive things from that aspect. But, you know, things we got to improve, we know. We kind of knew that there was going to be some areas we had to improve on. And when we play good teams, that's where you find out. Touched on how Seed Holt had a good game. Another player I thought had a good game on both sides of the ball was Derek Carraway. Yeah, Derek's a very consistent player. You know, he's a good athlete offensively and defensively and on special teams he's one of our better players and you know we got to get the ball in his hand more offensively because he's he's a threat every time he touches it coach let's look forward to this week's game against char valley going back into conference against a team you've never played before yeah it's going to be interesting you know uh they're a very strange team because uh you know you watch them on film and they're pretty good they're two and two they lost a tough game last week to West Allegheny at West Allegheny, 14 nothing, And, you know, West Allegheny is a very good team. So when you go to their place and it's that close of a game, you got to have some players. And they do on offense and defense. I think uh, they're very solid. They, do, <clears throat> they don't do anything fancy. Uh, they play good, hard-nosed defense. Uh, you know, very solid defensive team. I, you know, Guys run to the ball, good size, linebackers, defensive line. Uh, I was very impressed with their defensive play. Offensively, they spread out a little bit, run a little bit of option. Uh, they're, pretty, they're pretty good quarterback to throw and run. So, you know, it's going to be a challenge for our guys to bounce back, see how they bounce back after a tough loss. How do you match up against the Colts? Size-wise, we're pretty even. Uh, they have good athletes. They've always had good athletes out there. I think we might have a little bit more speed than them. But, uh, you know, West A is similar to us in speed and size, and they gave them all they could handle. So it's going to be a great game. Now, West A is a familiar foe for Shari Valley, but Woodland Hills certainly is not. Do you think that that plays any factor in the game? Uh, for Shari Valley? Mm -hmm. You know, Coach uh, Phil Donofrio teaches at the high school, and he coached here at Woodland Hills for a while. And he coached at uh, Shar Valley and Mount Lebanon. Now he's back to Shar Valley. And actually, his son's one of the safeties. He's a really good football player, Phil's son. So you, I saw him this summer, a couple of passing camps. They got some nice, plays, nice players. Well, Coach, as we talked about last week, it seems like there's a theme when we talk about the former Wolverines now playing in college. And we'll kind of stick with that theme with Juan Price being the ACC Defensive Lineman of the Week. But we'll also add in Juwan Turner, who's had a great career at Cal U. He's in his senior season now, and he had a uh, formal return for a, a touchdown this past Saturday. Yeah, you know, they're two of the greatest kids, and they come from two great families, you know, Juan Price and... Uh, Juwan Turner, they're just they're great kids. Juwan and uh, his brother Julian are couldn't find two nicer kids. And Juan, he's very quiet, you know, one of the strongest guys we ever had here. But he's having an impact on the pit, and you know, him and Mike Caprera played well in that crazy game out in Oklahoma where they were had a two-hour delay for Lightning. It was 38-38, and you know they ended up losing 45-30. It was a great game. Uh, one of those games could have went either way. 
Saturday afternoon, we had an opportunity to see Miles Sanders carry the ball for the first time for Penn State, and he did some good things. Oh, he's very impressive. Miles is, Miles is going to be a player for him. And, you know, the more he gets involved in the offense, the better he's going to be. Coach Novak, thanks a lot for your time. Good luck this week against the Colts. We'll talk to you again next week before the home game against Hampton. Thanks, Adam. Just want to say uh, have a good day to Aiden up there in New York who's playing soccer. Uh, Ava and Max. Max scored two touchdowns this week at his uh, flag football game. He threw a touchdown and he ran a touchdown. So way to go, Max. Good job, Max. And we'll be back with more of the pregame show right after this here on the Woodland Hills Football Network. What's for dinner on Thursday night? Chicken wings. Come on down to Turtle Creek for Thursday night wings at the Wolverina. Fresh, whole wings, hand breaded and hand tossed with four different flavors. And the best part is that all proceeds benefit the Woodland Hills football program. Thursday night wings at the Wolverina every Thursday evening during the season. Let's take a look at the Wolverines results and remaining schedule. The WPIL 5A Allegheny 9 Conference Standings. And now the MSA Sports WPIAL 5A Top 10 Rankings. Again, fans, we thank you for joining us for this Week 5 edition of the Woodland Hills Football Network pregame show. If you can't make it to the Wolverine on Friday night, you can listen to the game live on msasports.net. You can watch our live stream on the Woodland Hills Football Network Facebook page. Select broadcasts throughout the season will also be streamed live on our YouTube channel. And as always, you can tune in to the replays on Monroeville Comcast Channel 13, Penn Hills Comcast Channel 98, Verizon Fios Channel 37, and all of our broadcasts are available in HD on our YouTube channel. For everybody at the Woodland Hills Football Network, I'm Adam Gusky, and we'll talk to you again next week as the Wolverines host Hampton. This has been a presentation of the Woodland Hills Football Network. Watch us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and as always, visit us at woodlandhillsfootballnetwork.com.